Today, everyone, you're here because you want to connect your Weedoo 2 Hub to your Windows laptop, but for some reason, uh, it doesn't show up in the software. Do not panic. I will show you how to reconnect your Smart Hub with 100% success rate. Plus, check out my description for more tips. But first, this is how pairing is supposed to work. So here we are in Weedoo 2, and then we go into our project. So you are in your project. First, what we need to do is we press on our connections tab at the top right. Open our connections, and then you press on the green button on our WeDo2 hub, okay, on the smart hub. Once you press it, you'll see that your hub appears on this list. And then you click on your hub, your hub turns blue, and then you wait for the thumbs up. Simple. So this is how it's supposed to work. This is the proper way to connect. But instead, sometimes this happens, and this is the error. The error is you press on the green button on your smart hub, and then no matter how long you wait, the hub doesn't appear in your connections tab. Now, this is how we fix it. First of all, you double check to make sure your computer is not on flight mode. Okay, and that Bluetooth is enabled. Don't skip this step because this is really important. Double check it, and only if you are not in flight mode and that Bluetooth is enabled, then you go to the next part. Okay, so you press the Windows key on your keyboard. So here we press the Windows key on the keyboard, and then you go to the bottom right to look for your Bluetooth devices. See these icons over here? You might have to press this little arrow to show hidden icons. So here I press show hidden icons and then I find my Bluetooth devices down the bottom right. Click on Bluetooth, Bluetooth devices and then you go to show Bluetooth devices. Now you scroll down and then you remove anything that looks like a hub that is connected, okay? So uh, this uh, is a mobile device. But if you see any uh, Bluetooth devices here, click on them and then go remove device, okay? It's really important that you remove all the uh, smart hubs that you might have already connected. Next, you scroll back up and then you click on add Bluetooth or other device. Click on that and then click on Bluetooth. Now what you need to do is you press the green button on the hub and then you'll see that it pops up in add a device. Now this next bit you have to do really quickly. You click on the device. Now it's turned blue, but it hasn't connected yet. Okay, now it's connected. And then as soon as I get back into we do too, I have to click it as soon as it pops up. Do you see that? I click on it as soon as it pops up and then I get the thumbs up. Now, there are a couple of things that can signal another problem. So if you didn't click on the hub quick enough when it appears on the list, then you might have to turn off your hub and do it all over again. So disconnect everything from the Bluetooth devices and then uh, try to reconnect. And if, it's, um, if it constantly turns itself off, then you might have to restart your software and your computer as well. So I hope that helped you out. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video if I helped you out. Uh, I also make a lot of other LEGO education videos. So until next time, I'll see you later.